Good evening, Pio Nation. I hope you're doing well today. My name is Matt Williamson, and you are watching Merritt Ecology Esports. I apologize for the delay. Uh, we were just getting all of the map picks and bans uh, figured out uh, with our opponent, Defiance, as part of the Great Lakes Esports Conference. So uh, we've just been getting all that set up because we are going to be able to spectate this match. Uh, so I want to make sure I knew what the lobby is going to look like before we get the, the stream started up. But we're getting everyone in the lobby right now, so let's take a look at your pioneers for the Rainbow Six. So we have here our captain, junior, senior, I think he's technically a senior now, uh, Vincent Anderson Nuggo, senior Bobby Weber, Boba Flex 7, junior Dylan Poles Rez, sophomore Aaron Crumb Spoon, the fan favorite in the Twitch chat, and we have freshman Michael Funka, Funka, and we have our head coach, Derek Games. But all right, this is going to be. A best of three. Uh, the first map is going to be on Villa, where Marietta will be attacking and Defiance will be defending. Uh, second map will be Coastline with Marietta defending um, and Defiance attacking. And if it goes to a third map, it will be Oregon. All right, yeah, so we are getting things uh, set up here. Uh, while we are getting a few things here uh, set up, we'll just go over a couple quick announcements. We have quite a few matches going on this week, especially if you are a fan of Rainbow Six. So not only do we have, we have our match against Defiance in just any minute now, on Friday, our Rainbow Six team will be going up against Virginia Tech as part of the Collegiate R6 competition. So that'll be at 8, excuse me, 8.30 on Friday. Saturday, our Rainbow Six team will be back playing against Trine University uh, at 2.30. That's going to be a part of the Great Lakes Esports Conference. And then at 4 o'clock on Saturday, our League of Legends team will be playing against University of Illinois Chicago. Uh, so that'll be 4 o'clock. So we got quite a few matches here uh, coming for you. So, yeah, it's going to be a, a very busy week for our Rainbow Six team. And, of course, we have our League of Legends match uh, on Saturday as well. Uh, as always, we are uh, looking for more players for our esports program. Uh, so, I mean, if you are a high school student or you are a current Marietta College student, please be sure to get a hold of us. I mean, we have a variety of titles. We have Fortnite, Hearthstone, League of Legends, Overwatch, Rainbow Six, Rocket League, Super Smash, Valorant, and we are looking at additional options. So, if you're interested, you can email me. If you're a high school senior, uh, you can fill out our recruitment form at bit.ly slash mcrecruit. Uh, and of course, if you're a high school senior, you can try out for one of our uh, scholarships. So we do offer scholarships to come to Marietta College and be part of our esports team. Here's the catch, though, folks. We only have one more day, and that's going to be on Saturday, March 19th. That is your last chance. If you're a high school senior and you want an, a scholarship to be a part of the esports program at Marietta College, this is the time. This is the place. So you need to fill out the recruitment form at bit.ly slash mcrecruit. Uh, it's recommended that you apply for admission, so you can go to marietta.edu slash apply, but the most important form is our register, our tryout form, bit.ly slash mcesport tryouts. Um, so make sure that you do fill out that information. Uh, it will be on our Discord server, so you do not have to come to campus for the tryouts, uh, but uh, once we see that you've registered, we'll get in contact with you uh, prior to the 19th. And we will schedule a time to meet with you on our Discord server where we would be able to try out and hopefully, hopefully be able to say we can give you a scholarship to be a part of our esports program. But this is the last date. We are not having any others. So if you have been wondering about whether you want to try out for a scholarship, this would be the time to do so. Okay, so it looks like we almost have everyone in the lobby. Uh, it seems like there may be some connection issues. One of our uh, players is having trouble uh, getting invited. So let's see if we can get him invited. So hopefully we can get that working soon. But once we have that going, we will get the uh, the game underway. But, okay, let me go check on the team real quick just to make sure that um, everything is good because 
Yeah, it seems like one of our players is having trouble connecting. Sometimes it happens with Rainbow Six. So just give me one second, you'll be right back. All right, it looks like everyone is in the lobby. So now I'm just gonna do a quick ready check. And also gonna just double check my settings to make sure everything is correct. So let's see here. First, there is attacking. And over time, yep, that looks good. Okay, so, okay. Okay, I think everyone said they're ready. All right, so let me get the audio uh, set up here. And I'm going to hit the start button for there. And start things up over here. All right, folks. Map one of this best of three series, Marriott College versus Defiance College. So we will start with the ban phase. This is on Villa. Merida will be attacking. Defiance will be defending. So let's see what ops are going to be taken out for this first map. And Defiance will first ban out the Jackal. Very interesting choice. This does mean Stature is on play if Merida wants to use it. Or maybe they thought, they're thinking... They'll take out the Thatcher and just go with something else. But let's see what they decide to ban here. And they're going to take out the Flores, which means Thatcher is in play if they wanted to use it. Flores is one that Merida does not like to go up against. So now they'll do the first defensive off ban. And as a reminder, um, this is the GLEC uh, format. So it is comp settings. However, the number of rounds is the same to a ranked game. So it's going to be first of four. So now we see the mirror being banned. So yeah, so it is first of four to win a map here. So every round matters. Not that the comp rounds didn't matter, but you have fewer rounds to, to make up if you make a mistake. So it is very critical. And we're going to see Clash as the last ban. Very interesting choice. I don't know if Marietta's played clash lately but okay but yeah anyway it's gonna be first of four but all the other settings uh are still the same now we're gonna see which ops uh, will be selected looks like marietta is gonna go with the ash maverick thermite ace and nomad oh no spoon's gonna be swapping to that ayana and we're seeing the caviar valkyrie mozzie legion and capcan Interesting choice with the cap can. Uh, that's one that you usually don't think a lot about. Like all the traps, so you have to watch for those cap can uh, gadgets. But we are seeing some six picks coming out. Nuggo is bringing out the Thatcher. And we do see that six pick going on uh, with Defiance. I'm gonna try not to reveal too much stuff. That way, make sure no one hears Attackers what I'm saying here. And as many bombs as okay. They can. But Defiance is getting their defenses set up. Yeah, barricading stuff, putting out gadgets. So we, we see one getting put over there. And there's going to be one probably over there somewhere. And I should also remind everyone that my commentary for Rainbow Six is going to be mediocre at best because I know very little about this game. So just kick back, relax, and be entertained. All right, round has begun. We'll see. They're going to work on their way in. They're going to start repelling up. Ready. 
All right, so we do see some gunshots going in. Just checking to see if anyone is there. They're not going to see anyone here just yet. So they're going to start working their way in. Malkus leading the charge. Check to see if anyone's behind there. And they are going to... He isn't going to hit anyone, but Defiance is going to know that. And we're seeing Rez gets an early frag onto Wiz Snowman. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Rez is going to be around. Bump is firing another couple more shots. I don't see anyone there just yet, but... See a grenade? I think it gets thrown out. And Bunker did spot someone over there by the archway, but that person does fall back. Rez getting a second frag. Meanwhile, Bobaflex looks like it's going to be rotating from, back, from behind to see if they can flank. Bump is still firing stuff. Spoon getting a, a frag grenade. Everyone's firing shots. Bulbaflex is going to get a frag. And Nogo is going to be planting. But Bulbaflex gets the killing blow. So a very strong performance there by the Pioneers. Bulbaflex is able to catch the person by the fireplace. Okay, they did ask for a pause. Okay. Uh, okay, so there, so there was a uh, request for a pause. I'm not so sure why, but at least was able to get the the pause in. So let me see if I can figure out what's going on here. Give me one second, everyone. Okay, guys, uh, it's just going to be a minute here. Uh, I guess one of our players had a... Uh... Medical emergency is not the right word here because it's not really an emergency, but a medical incident. Uh, that still sounds really bad, but uh, he'll be fine just getting it taken care of, and we should be able to start up in just a few minutes. Um, so we're just going to leave it here for a minute while we are waiting, but uh, that's why there's a pause. It's just a kind of a personal medical issue that has to be taken care of but uh it everything will be fine but while we're waiting we can talk at least a little bit about marietta's comp uh so right now we're seeing the ash maverick thermite ayana and nomad um a very good comp i mean it could be there could be another six pick into uh the thatcher just like the the last round but we're seeing some good breaches with the Thermite and the Ash. Spoon's looking at the Ayana to do uh, some very, uh, to try to do, be that roamer, the frontliner to scout around. Rez loves playing the, the Nomad. And Nuggo loves the Maverick to, to kind of help with some of the breaching or just kind of be that support person, uh, depending on the role. Okay. All right, so Mary to send ready.
All right, everyone's saying they're good, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this started back up. Resume timer. Appreciate everyone's patience there. Okay, so now we're gonna do the six picks, and Nuggo is going to six pick into that third night. Or I'm not third night, <laughs> Thatcher uh, that was just talking about. I'd like to bring that utility. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. So we'll get defenses set up. Bomb located by attackers. Yeah, attackers sending up barricades. Oh, we're, looks like we're gonna see some grenade launchers and some bear traps. The cavalry area pick is gonna be interesting to see. Um, uh, able to. Takes out one of Marietta's roamers and get a lot of information there. Five seconds left. Fire. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. Okay, the round has begun, so Marietta will be working their way. But they're gonna go up the floor. And they're going straight into that closet storage area uh, that's next to the uh, the bedroom and the, the bathroom right there. Not going to see anyone there. They're droning out, but you see one guy all the way over there that's anchored, but nowhere near where Mary is coming in. Falca is going to be charging right away to see everyone's at, but Raz is checking the bathroom. Doesn't see anyone there. But we may see some action going on here. I'm gonna be taking out that camera. And Boba Flex is actually gonna get the first frag. But Spoon's gonna get knocked down. The Funka will get one down, but will they be able to revive Spoon? Don't know. It looks like he will get back up. Facing some fire. He's gonna check down the stairs. Falco's gonna get one frag. Looking for more. It's a good headshot there. The attacker's bomb diffuser has been dropped. Everyone's working away. Attackers away. recovered the diffuser. Now goes gonna be. Right gonna blow up the wall. Gets it. Falco's gonna get one frag. Gonna be looking at that bomb site for the last person. And he's gonna see them right there and is able to take him down. So Marietta will claim round two. Alright, so round three. Once again, as a reminder, this is ranked rounds. So after this round, the roles will swap. We're gonna see Ash, Maverick, Thermite, Twitch, Nomad, but once again, Nuggo is gonna be six picking into that Thatcher. I mean, the composition, although Spoon's bring out the Twitch this time. Ooh, a very interesting six pick from Defiance. He was not banned. So, need to locate we'll see if fun. that plays a role uh, in this round. Again. Attackers must locate and defuse the bomb. 
They're just working on working their way. And we may be seeing an early skirmish here. Quickly, Mazda was going in very, very hard to try to stop Marietta from uh, infiltrating. So Funko's going to be looking for him, but Quickly, the monster does retreat. And they're going to be droning out to see if they can spot anyone. Let's check that wall to see if anyone's there. Not going to find anyone there. Bomb located by attackers. Meanwhile, Spoon's going to be rotating around as well. Every Yeah, Bubble Flex and Rest were droning. Going to take out. Okay. And Spoon's going to catch one. It gets very low. Not enough to finish him off. But meanwhile, Funk is going to take one down. And there's that echo being used. That's going to disorient Funko for a little bit. Yeah, got us a drive on. is going to be rotating. Going to try to breach the wall. Spoon's rotating God. around, checking the stairs. If anyone's coming from behind, not going to see anyone just yet. But Bubble Flex is able to take out one. He's going to be looking for more. He's trying to shoot the bomb site. He does catch one, but Funka and Spoon both get frags. I think that was a kill steal. And Funka getting the last frag. Marietta secures round three. So it is going to be map point for the Pioneers. The roles will swap. So now Marietta is going to be on defense. Defiance will be attacking. Right now, Mary is looking at the Aruni, Smoke, and Jaeger. Rez going with the Castle, Spoon on the Meluzi. But will there be any six picks? I mean, overall, I think this is a pretty good setup. Rez likes to play the Castle for the extra stronger barricades. Nugga usually plays on the bomb site with the Smoke. Bunka likes the Aruni. Yeah, overall pretty good picks. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. Now Marietta will set up their defenses. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. Taking out some drones. Set up. Attackers are moving to defuse the bomb. All right, so the round has begun. The defiance is coming in from the right of angles. Maybe looking at a divide and conquer approach. See two from defiance coming in this way. See uh, two from over here. There's the fifth one. So. Yeah, they're, they're, it looks like they're trying to come in from multiple angles. We may see something going on between Overflex and a few. I'll give them a call. And Doki D. Cole comes out and does take down one and does did see that the second one there. So the Doki B call did spot out Boba Flex, but he was able to take down the, the Finca in the process. Well, Funk is checking up top to see if anyone peeks through there. And he's... Oh, did he not see that? I don't know if he saw that. I don't think he saw that. 
Dude's peeking around, but I think he's gonna spawn anyone just yet. Rez is checking if anyone comes by the door, but he's just right here. Oh, I think it's in the other room. Okay, there's the breach. Bump is gonna take down Jack one. Bomb. And so does Bowflex and so does Rez. And Rez is able to get the killing blow. And that's gonna be the first round, the first map uh, for the Pioneers. Marietta does win this. Uh, four to zero. MVP will go to Funka. So we're looking there at 8-0-2 for Funka. So a very good performance there. There we go. All right, give me a second here, folks. Yep. Yeah, my mistake there. I hit the wrong button. But uh, now let's get the uh, the second map here set up. Okay. So let's see here. That should be... So now we're going to be on coastline. And... So Marietta is going to be defending... And then over time will be clients attacking first Mary defending. Okay. So I think I think we're good there. So make sure all this is set up. Defending. Defending. Okay. Okay, okay, everyone says they're good. All right, we are starting things up here. So let me get audio and everything underway. All right, so we'll start the band phase. Well, they will ban Jackal first. Interesting. So they are not going to ban the Thatcher, even though that they are on defense. The so Defiance first ban will be the Monty. Okay. So that means Thatcher's in play, Flores is in play. But apparently Marina does not like to find playing that jackal. And they're gonna ban the clash again. I'm not so sure why Marina does not play the clash that often. But we'll see if Marina will ban the Mira or if they ban something else. And they will, in fact, ban that Mira. All right, so we will get the uh, the bands in place. We're not. The, we already have the bands in place. We're gonna get the picks now for which ops we're gonna be doing what. So once again, Mary, we'll be defending. So we're gonna see the Ela smoke. Wamai. Thunderbird and Jaeger. Thunderbird is legal, technically, because it's only the most recent attack and defensive ops that are 
uh, not allowed. And Spoon's going to be bringing out the pulse, so this is going to be interesting. I don't remember what Thunderbird does. You guys in chat do. But we're just going to follow Rez here a little bit on that Thunderbird. Okay, healing stations. Very interesting choice. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds to insertion. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Okay, so the round has begun. Is working their way in. At least one. There's the other. I think they're all coming up uh, top. I'm gonna try to like, work away around this way. That's what it looks like. The res might actually be one of the first to encounter. Or actually, no, it might be. Take a look at Spoon here, using that pulse. He's gonna spot one right through that wall. And takes him out with a headshot. You can see that there are two above him. Rez is able to take down one. Spoon is just providing information of where there's... He's gonna take out the barricade. Is he gonna come? Uh, he's not gonna go out. He knows there's one directly above him. Oh, defender is exposed. Throwing out the nitro and does get the frag with the nitro. He's gonna see one more. Actually, there's two over there. I think he's gonna try again. Funka's like, and Spoon's gonna try to go for the front. And Funka beats him to it with the double kill. Funka takes out one. And takes out the other. Almost team killed Lamai. Looks like Randy's gonna go with the same comp, except Rez is gonna be on the Legion this time. But no, is he gonna? He's bringing out Tachanka. I, I, he's trolling at this point. Totally trolling. Not so sure what's going on with the uh, the game at this point. Okay, there we go. To be loading Attackers here. Need to locate and there we go. Many bombs they can. Not sure what happened there. Attackers have discovered the location of a bomb. And put up there the barricades. has begun, so... Oh, 
Like the fights is all grouped up over here. And we're already gonna see. It's like an earth. Like they're going straight for the bomb site pretty early on. We're just checking to see where everyone's at. Attackers have dropped the Not gonna spawn one, but Rez is gonna take down one. It's over by where the bomb is. The is. Spoon does get knocked down. Funk is going to be taking some damage. And Spoon does get finished off, so it is a 4v4. Now going Boba Flux are just kind of chilling by the bomb site. Funk is gonna take out one. Funk okay, does see someone by his side. Takes him down. That's a double. Might be seeing a third one over here. Is he not seeing that? Yep, got the headshot onto Frost. Now he's checking outside for the last one. Does he? But he does get a little greedy and gets punished for it. Bubble Flex does get the killing blow, and Mary just secures the round. That'll be round three. And once again, if Marietta gets the four here, they will secure the, the map and the series. We're gonna see Elo smoke Valkyrie on Boba Flex this time, Spoon on the dock, and Rez back on that castle. But looks like Boba Flex is gonna be six picking into something. It's gonna be the Frost. Interesting that Spoon's gonna bring out the dock. He, he did die in that last one, so maybe he wants to heal himself a little bit. Make sure he doesn't die again. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. And already, Spoon's able to take out and get an early frag. And Funka's gonna be taking out one. Spoon and Funka are just all up. Rez is getting one. Everyone's just finding people. Spoon's gonna spot another. Does have him knocked down. I'm just going to rotate nice. around trying to find that last person. And he's going to be right there. And just lines up the headshots. So this is match point. Rolls have swapped, so Marietta will be on attack and Defiance will be on defense. Looks like we're gonna see Zofia, IQ, no Buck, Ayana, Finca, and Gridlock for Rez. Playing away from the Nomad that he usually likes to play. But oh man, we are seeing all sorts of stuff coming here. We see the Capcan, we see the Kaid, we see the Tachanka, we see the Bear Traps from Frost. This is gonna be interesting.
defenders protect your yeah, a very gadget heavy defense uh, here Set up. Your feet active. Ten seconds remaining. Doorway trapped. Stay clear of blast zone. Five seconds remaining. Camera activated. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. Camera Round activated. has begun. Three from Marietta are over there. And now goes by himself. Bubblex is by himself. We're gonna see Funko and Spoon have already worked her way in. And Rez is gonna get the first frag. Spoon checking out all the gadgets. He's gonna spot one, takes down the second. Funko's checking gadgets. Looks like the new jammers. Nago's gonna get a frag, but Rez is gonna end up falling. Spoon's gonna get a frag. There's only one person left for defiance. I think a surge comes out. And Boba Flex is gonna get that killing blow. And with that, Marietta will take the series. So they take this map 4-0. MVP for this one will go to Spoon. But with that, the Pioneers do win the series 2-0. to zero. A very strong performance uh, by the Pioneers. So yeah, um, I mean, very quick matches. Uh, definitely shows that the strategy that they've been working on have paid off. So as a reminder, we have a lot more Rainbow Six coming at you this week. On Friday, they'll be going up against Virginia Tech, and they have played Virginia Tech's teams before, so that'll be 8.30. So be prepared for a, a, a late-nighter. And then on Saturday, uh, the Pioneers will be going up against Trine University at 2.30, and followed by our League of Legends match at 4 o'clock. So for all the latest updates with what's going on with Marion College Esports, please be sure to follow us on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Thank you all for watching, and we hope you enjoy the rest of your day.